Hello, my friend. This is Clyde, the real deal. Early this morning, a thought occurred to me that I personally have not heard anything about the theory of evolution lately. Now, don't get me wrong. I have not heard that it has been upgraded, revised, or discarded. I just simply haven't heard about it. And in that moment, an overarching thought came into my head. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Psalm 19 verse 1. So let us talk about the God that I have grown to know and love. Oh, one more thing. And this has to do with two songs. Songs that I listened to this morning as part of my startup for the day. The first one had a simple title, God Is. And the last line of the song simply says, God is my all in all. The second song is a bombastic rendition of a regular song, Jesus Never Fails. You've got to hear those two songs for yourself, my friend. But <clears throat> let us go back to the matter before us. We're talking about God. You see, many people do not serve God. They do not believe in God simply because they have not stopped to look. You can look up or you can look around. But if you only look, you will see for yourself that there is a God. When we look around us, we see people doing life. And if you look carefully, they seem to be doing well without God. Someone buys a ticket for anything between 2 to $5. And a few days later, when there's a lottery drawing, someone who spent a small amount of money has won a prize of millions and millions of dollars. What does God have to do with that? Or you have the weatherman who can tell you with a great deal of accuracy a weather forecast that very often comes to pass. God doesn't have anything to do with that. That's science and technology which helps us to get that kind of a forecast. So can we talk about looking up or looking around? And let us hear what we see. God reveals himself in the things that we can't see or understand. So the Bible says that if you look up, you will see sun. Don't look directly at it. You see moon, you see stars, you will see clouds, you will see birds flying in the air. Everything that you see when you look up point to someone behind it all. There must have been someone who was responsible for the things we see when we look up. From what we know, no human has been able to create those things. Okay, we have invented the airplane which flies without a solid, a solid roadway in the sky. But I still insist that the, thing that are, the things that are seen when we look up, they point to God. In all of human history, the sun has always been where it is and does what it does every day without as much as a hiccup. The more you look up, not just what you see naturally, but then when you think about what you see when you look up, you will conclude that there is a God. Then there are some of us who will, will be amazed if we look around, because there are tons of evidence that there is a God and he is alive and well. We see trees. We see animals. We see sea and river and all those kinds of things. Let us take the complex business of a pregnancy. As far as we know, the regular thing is that a man and a woman, they have sex and stuff from that exercise get together later and something microscopic is formed within a woman. Soon there is growth, movement, features that appear. But seriously, sperm and egg two items which come together after the act of sex that leads to a baby. Listen to this little piece from the Bible that speaks about that. For you, God, formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. Psalm 139, verses 13 to 14. Yes, sir, the humans did their part, but the bulk of what goes on over the next nine months, producing a baby that was 
all God, my friend. God did the real work. Sperm and egg cannot by themselves bring into fruition a baby. It is God who directs and manages the process. The point I am making is that if you look around, you will see signs, evidence, big clues that there is a God. Let us hear what is the problem why so many persons do not believe God is behind all we see. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because, although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Romans 1, 21 to 23. That is a problem. The real problem is that humans have always sought to prove that this place we call earth and everything in it and above it, they are made by God, but folks don't want to believe in God. It is too simple. So they create their own theory and tell themselves that this is the alternative to God. What that does is that it gives folk permission to not live according to God's standards. That is why some folks do not want to give their lives to God because it would mean that they would have to acknowledge that there is a God. My friend, I stop by to tell you whether you look up or look around or look at yourself in the mirror, you will see a zillion signs that all tell you that God is. There is a God. And he does not sleep because he doesn't need to sleep. But you have to acknowledge that this God is real. You need to come to, this, to your senses and trust him, follow him, live for him. Because this great God is, he is my all and all. I never can live a day without him. There is an indisputable truth that I want you to hear from me. As of today, please understand that God exists whether you believe it or not. Because, my friend, God is the real deal.